everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel for another Flames of War Blue on Blue Battle Report. Allies have now turned to enemies, and we have the D Day Americans fighting against the D Day British. Um, my friend Jimmy will be running the D Day Americans, and he has opted to go maneuver. And um, he has the D Day British, it's also gone maneuver. So, we're going to roll for the missions after we have uh, done our armies. So, um, that's all we'll have a look at next. Okay, so this is Jimmy's list for today. He has a M4 Sherman tank company, so these are not veterans, so they are hit on threes. And he has two M4 Shermans in the HQ, a platoon of four 76mm Shermans, and a unit of five Stuarts. He then has a second formation in the form of a veteran rifle company, uh, so he has uh, two SMG teams in the HQ, and then he has two full platoons. Uh, so that is 10 M1 uh, Gar Garand teams with one bazooka. And then he has a unit of six 81mm um, mortars at the back. Now in support, he has a little bit more infantry again and some big guns. So Jimmy's very in favour of the um, artillery guns rather than self propelled. Uh, so he has four uh, 105mm howitzers. Um, four three-inch um, towed uh, anti-tank guns and a glider rifle platoon. So that is ten uh, rifle teams again, a bazooka, an LMG, and a sixty-millimeter mortar. That's one hundred points. No command cards here for Jimmy. So Jimmy's pointed at the M4 Sherman seventy-six millimeter to be a key unit for him. Uh, it was either this or the three-inch gun, but since this uh, can move a little bit more. He is uh, going for the 76. And some of you might be questioning as well uh, when you see his army list uh, printed out uh, in the next slide um, why he's gone for a Sherman um, or Sherman, a glider rifle platoon rather than a third rifle platoon. Uh, asked this on the day, and uh, James said um, he felt the glider platoon had a bit more versatility, uh, having the mortar, the MG and the bazooka as well, so he's got them more of a, a defensive unit if he needs to defend. That was it, in case anyone was wondering. So this is my list, um, so Jimmy has been quite sensible, he's done a bit of a, a split where he can potentially attack or defend and have a, a decent amount of troops. Um, I haven't, on the other hand, I've just gone quite heavy armour which isn't normally me but I thought I'd give it a go so one formation for me a Desert Rat Cromwell uh, squadron uh, really looking forward to trying these out uh, so I have quite a decent sized formation as it goes so I have a HQ uh, so that's four Cromwells two of which are the CS version so they have a little howitzer I then have three platoons of uh, Deseret Cromwell, so you have three Cromwells and one Firefly in each uh, platoon or troop as they're called. I then have four Stuarts in a, a Recce troop and two Crusader AAs uh, just to give the formation a bit of survivability. Uh, now they do remount on a three but they are reluctant on a five so uh, that's why I'm taking units of four. Uh, in support, I have a Desert Rat motor platoon, so that's just four brown gun teams with a Piat and a boys, uh, not a boys, a uh, two inch mortar, and I've equipped them with half tracks using a command card. I then have a platoon of uh, paratroopers, uh, so that is uh, seven bases with two Piats, and I had one point left, so I used the lucky card. And that's it, there's my Desert Rats. Okay, this is why I think might be a key unit for me today, and it's the parachute platoon. And the main reason is, is because uh, it's the only thing in my army that isn't reluctant. So I thought I'd have something with uh, some um, motivation to get the job done. Um, but um, as uh, Frank uh, points out quite a lot, uh, the fearless troops tend to be the ones who not past the motivations and the ones who are like stupid reluctant or just regular four pluses get to uh you know pass it all the time so yeah might work might not but these guys are pretty good and they also got two piats as well so uh they're very much in support of the desert rats today
Okay, so we rolled off um, for the mission and we got contact and then we rolled the dice to see who would be the attacker and it is Jimmy. So I picked this side of the table to defend because we have a river running through it going all the way here. They're quite 50-50, the terrain actually is quite a um, decent table. Um, so I just picked this side because I was already standing this side. So in uh, reserve I have my Cromwell HQs, a Cromwell troop and the Stuarts, um, and in ambush I have another Cromwell troop. So how I deployed was I have one Cromwell troop on the right, uh, which is unfortunately looking down a three inch gun, so we are going to see, if pure line of sight, they will be able to see it until I go up to the Bocage. Um, the motor platoon is here, sat on the objective with the half-tracks in the rear. Uh, all the paratroopers bar two are in this building, and the Crusader AAs are behind. So uh, Jimmy has all his tanks in reserve and the glider troops, which you should, might be able to make out. And then we have a platoon here with the mortars and the HQ, the 10.5 centimeter howitzers, another platoon, and then the three inch guns guarding this right flank. So Jimmy has immediate reserves and I have delayed scattered reserves, but I do get an ambush. So that's it. So we go into American turn one. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, so turn one, Jimmy did get his reserves in, and he brought in the Stuarts. Uh, so they've cross country dash, have gone through the gap, and did a follow me as well. So alongside them, we've got the second platoon, uh, the HQ behind, and then the only other movement is first platoon moving through the bog. And that is it. So we'll be going into shooting, which will be one three inch gun if you decide to fire it, and your artillery. Okay, so first up, the mortars are firing straight down here, spotting for themselves. There's terrain and their skill four, I believe. Mortars. Uh, mm -hmm. We're actually giving you. Okay, so now I've actually given Jimmy his card. We it is skill four, and because there's terrain in the template, it's going to be a five plus. So yeah, here we go. Oh, he's got it first time, and luckily they don't have time on target. So uh, there are, we might as well roll seven rifle teams under there that you'll be hitting on for. So I'll get a pinned marker ready. I'll just put that there, ready. Okay. Just the one. And then there's also two piats. And you hit both of them now. Well, I would have uh, traded that. And was and you might as well roll for the two crusaders because I think you can bail them. Two more hits. Okay, put your dice over there. Okay, right. So I have a paratrooper rifle team who is in trouble. I have two piats who one is in trouble, and then the crusader AAs. Uh, one might be bailed. So what's the eighty on your mortars? One. Yeah, so you might be bailed. So you have a rifle platoon, so it's a four plus firepower, isn't it? it? Is okay. A Piat is okay, and then the Crusader is okay. Oh. <laughs> right then. So uh, next up, then I'm guessing the 105s will be firing. So we'll we'll uh, pause and give Jimmy a little uh, thinking time. Okay, the howitzers are ranging in here, skill 3, so it's going to be a 4 up because of the terrain, and these guys do have time on target, but ah ha ha! So, second attempt, got it. So, you have three um, Brendan teams, we'll, we'll do, so you got the guy on the ridge, you're hitting on a 5. Just one. Yeah, just one, we'll do, do it because like obviously the placings and stuff. A hit, and then we have the guy on the road. Is missed, and then you have a little two inch mortar. Is missed. The Piat is hit, you like the Piats, and then the unit leader is missed. So, guy on the ridge uh, is okay, and the Piat is okay, but they are pinned. Uh, last thing then, uh, the three inch gun on the hill can see it over here, no concealment, so it's just going to be rain, so it's going to be two dice hitting me on fives. Two hits, 
guess in a firefly is going to be one of them. Yes. Uh, I'm going to try and swap it off a firefly onto another crusader, uh, onto another Cromwell, which I do. So it's onto two Cromwells. Now, your 80 is 12. My front armour is 6, which goes to 7 for the range. So, no. So, two firepowers and even threes. Uh, one kill, one bail. Uh, not great to start, but yeah, silly putting them there. But I didn't lose a firefly. Mm. Okay, so start of my turn one. I have a Cromwell tank to get back in. Luckily, they are cautious, not stupid, so they remount on a 3 plus, which is not enough. So I. We'll just keep that guy like that because I'm going to keep my uh, lucky card for later. So I'm going to try and rally the paratroopers, uh, which rally on a 3 plus because they're fearless, which they do not. And then the um, motor platoon doesn't rally on a 4 because they are also reluctant. So I will be popping my ambush. Okay, so my Cromwells have popped up here. I've had to pop them early because these guys are threatening and with all my infantry pinned, I can't really get into good positions. And then the Cromwell and the Sherman over here did a cross-country dash with a successful follow me. My 5 plus motivations work at this point. Um, so I've just left this Cromwell behind over here. And that is it. So um, the only shooting I have is my Cromwell and Firefly who are in short range of the Stuarts. So, I have six shots with the Cromwells, and I have six dice in my hand. So hitting you on threes, um, one miss. Um, I'll assign them in a second. And then two from the Firefly, which both hit. So what I will be doing, so I'll put the Firefly ones as sixes. I'll be putting them at the guys at the back. So you will have to swap them. So, because basically the two guys are at the front, so their front armour is five. It is five, isn't it? No, front armour four. Oh, four. So uh, these guys at the back will be five for range. Um, so I'll do it like that. So the guys at the front will have that'll be two and like that. So three plus, you get to swap one around. <laughs> And then you keep doing it until you fail. So what are you swapping first? Firefly around, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll we'll come back and see what Jimmy has has done. Okay, so Jimmy rolled a one, so that um, there's no need to actually pause. So um, these guys be in front armor four. You can equal on sixes. So do you want to just do the guy with the two hits on him, and he gets go go go. None, so let's see if I just kill him straight up. Uh, he's dead. And then the guy next to him is dead. The guy who will be equaling on fives um, is dead. And then these guys can't. Yeah. So a uh, guy here is dead. Guy on the right is dead. Ha ha! They're already Stuarts. Okay, so James is cooking up his Stuart, and I'm going to do one more thing this turn, and I'm going to try and do a shoot and scoot with my guys on the ridge, which I did not. Okay, so that is it for my turn one, so we go into turn two. Okay, so these are the two reserve rolls for Jimmy, which means I can't break your formation next turn. So, swings and roundabouts, uh, so we're going, so there's no other motivations for the Americans because only the Stuarts got hit. Um, so we will see where the Americans end their movement. Okay, American movement, um, second platoon here and the HQ, of uh, as many of them as possible has moved into the building. James isn't doing a follow me. And then first platoon is also moving up. These guys are within eight of the unit leader. Uh, he was thinking about moving the three inch guns, but this guy can pop away at my uh, Cromwell over here. Uh, so that is it. So we're going to shoot in, and you already ranged in all my units because I can't move them. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I can. I can move him back, but these guys aren't going any further back. So uh, we'll stop, and then we'll go into shooting phase. Okay, so we've remembered now that James can re-roll his hits. So everyone has commented because of that first artillery thing. We've already corrected it, so there's no need to comment and put, you know put stuff like that out there. So there's seven guys in there. And you're hitting the, well, seven rifle teams will do them first. And you're hitting on fours and you get to re roll your misses this time. Like we could always go back on my recording and find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've um, missed three times. And you still missed three times. That's, that's fair. Okay, so, and then there are two piats. Uh, you both hit again, and then you got the two Crusader AAs. Uh, that's a miss and a miss, and then you get the reroll, and one hit. Okay. So let's do the Crusader first, because that'll be the easiest one. He's okay. And then I got my two Piats. Uh, both pass, but I have to reroll. Uh, one fail. Four plus. He's okay. And then I have, I'll give you dice back, I have four rifle teams, uh, wow, <laughs> uh, three fail. I need some dice. Alright. <laughs> there you go. That's enough. Three, no you only need three. Okay, so on fours, two die. Howitzers, again, keeping on the same targets. Alright, so you've got the guy on the ridge, uh, hitting on a four. Uh, nope. Uh, guy on the road, hit on a four. No, uh, unit leader, yes, uh, mortar, yes. Is that cocked? I just, just don't know what is cocked on. Yeah, it is cocked. It's hit, and then the piat. Okay, so we have the mortar, I'll roll two dice, because I have to re-roll. Um, he is potentially dead, and then the unit leader is okay. He's okay. He needed a three for these guys. Last see the three inch gun needing fives on my poor Cromwell tank who's bailed out. One hit. Now I can. I can. No. So three plus. But I need to do a remount on a three because he's double bailed. And he's dead anyway, so do I re roll that? No because I need to get him back in next turn either way, so he's dead. And that is your turn. Okay, I've done my motivations, paratroopers have rallied on a six, and motor infantry have not. Uh, so we get to move. Okay, movement-wise, uh, these two remaining guys of this troop have moved up to the package, so I can, I can fire at the guys on the road, but they are in bulletproof cover. Uh, paratroopers have left this building and have moved into this building. Crusaders have moved up with them, and for some reason James thinks moving through fields is bulletproof cover. Uh, so for some reason he's left two of these guys in MG range of the, uh, the fellas here, so interesting. Um, and that is it, so we're going to go into shooting. Okay, so first up the paratroopers firing into the guys in the fields. They won't get cover because I'm firing from higher ground. So I only have five rifle teams there, so I'm still hitting you on fours. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then the Piats are going to fire, and then he's going to be hitting you on fives because they're slow firing and they're getting no hits. But we'll check to see if you could swap them. So James has three saves. Uh, so do, yeah, as they are, so unit leader, it survives. Guy behind, dies. Guy next to him, survives. So we only lose one for now. Okay, so now the Crusader AAs. Uh, now I'll fire the Shermans and Cromwells first because basically we have one Cromwell can hit this guy and another guy that can hit that guy. So, mm. actually, I'll fire the Crusaders first. So they'll be going over. They will be hitting you on fives though because um, concealment. Nope. I think it would be good to pin you though, so I have 8 shots from the Cromwells, so I'm going to do the 2 Cromwells, uh, I'm going to fire the MGs who can, will fire, 
and then the other ones are going to main gun it into your guys who are still short range. No, they're not the long range, but no concealment. So, short range, no concealment from the MGs onto that one guy. Um, that is three more hits. And then the main gun uh, hitting on fives, no hits. And then the firefly hitting on sixes, no hits. So, I'll just check to see if I can put it onto the other guy behind. No, it's literally all three on that guy. It survives all of them. Oh, sorry, so basically I rolled off camera here. So basically I got four hits with the MGs here and got two kills. And these guys are in bulletproof cover. And then this guy on the ridge fired. I uh, got two hits, guy in bulletproof and the guy behind who's not, and he died. So they pinned and I killed three guys. And these are all but one in bulletproof cover. Yeah, that's just just how it works sometimes. So both units are pinned, but the HQ is with these guys, so most likely these guys will rally. And I'm gonna leave it like that. So that is my turn two, so we're going into your turn three. Uh, Okay, so so far these guys have not rallied, and these guys have, but needed a reroll from the commander. So now three dice for reserves, and if you fail them all, you'll get one anyway. But you get two. They're yeah, both coming in. And so that's done, and so we'll go into movement and see where everything lies in. Do you want to roll for their digging? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, they do on a six, so awesome. Okay, movement. 76 mil Shermans have moved in from reserve here. Um, this rifle platoon is moving more into the building. Uh, these are the only three guys left outside. And then we have uh, the guys in this building are the HQs. So as we saw uh, when we rolled up, these guys are now in foxholes. And the other unit to arrive at were the glider platoon. So they are marching up the road. Uh, did a follow me, but there's a few guys who cannot hear their commander. Uh, so that is that. So there's a, just one more unit left to come on for the Americans, and that is the Sherman HQ, and they will be coming on next turn. So we go into American shooting. Because. Yep, I know that's right. so. And um, basically, Jimmy's rearranging in the mortars by here. It has to this no closer than this because of the American units in danger close, but needing a five to range in. So first attempt is a two, then another two, and a three. So no mortars this time. I'll just keep it over here because it's going to be my side of the table. Same place. Same place. Okay, so you got the guy on the ridge. It's hit. Uh, the guy on the road. Missed. Uh, my unit leader. Missed. Piat. Miss. Two inch mortar. Miss. Yeah, so it's the guy on the ridge. It, to be honest, that's probably the best one to get, to be honest. Uh, so fail. So on a three, he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so... Well, you have direct fire, actually. So you have... The rifle platoon could fire. Can fire. Oh, you want to do 76s first, yeah? So you've got... All four of them can fire, which will give you eight shots. Fours normally. Fives concealment. Six for range. Seven for stabilizers. So six is by fives, but he's going for it. One poten two potentials. One actual. I'm guessing it's going to be a firefly. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and swap. I do. Uh, I'll put on this Cromwell. So again, I can potentially get rid of this. I get five. So that will be six... 12, so 3 plus will bail me. Bailed. I'm not overly unhappy with that. Okay, and we have rifle shots if you wanted to do them. Yep. Alright, we'll work out our matches in there and uh, we'll uh, roll up. Okay, so only the one hit uh, into the building went onto a Piat and he survived. And the 3 inch gun on the hill is literally just out of range of these guys, so we're going into my turn three. I have a, a bailed out uh, Cromwell, who gets back in. I then have my 
pin down motor infantry who do not rally and finally one dice for reserves which I do not get anything so they'll come in eventually um, so we are going into British turn 3 Okay, my movement ended just a crusader move. I was tempted to bring the crusade, uh, the Cromwells forward to engage the uh, Shermans, uh, but odds do not look good. Uh, I'm happy to stay on the ridge and wait for them to come a bit closer, hopefully. Um, and then we'll, that's it, so we'll go into the shooting. So we'll only record what happens with the Firefly, really, and then we'll just do everything else as it comes. So, the Cromwells will be firing into the infantry, the Cromwell, the Crusaders will be firing into the infantry, Firefly into the Sherman. So, it's going to be long range, plus one, and that's it. So, it's going to be hitting you on fours with two shots. Uh, just the one hit, and you can equal it. You do not. So do I kill a Sherman? Um, I think I am going to re-roll that one. Yeah. Uh, just have the one on the ridge. He's the most exposed. Oh no, he'd be technically concealed. Just the guy right in the middle uh, in the front. Yeah, that one. Okay, and then we'll do the rest of the shooting and we'll see what happens. Okay, shooting wise then after that I managed to pin these guys at no kills. Um, but pinned them. Uh, the, so the power troops have fired their full rate of fire as well, so they won't be doing anything else for us to turn. Over here, the Cromwell fired main guns missed. Firefly fired three MG shots, hit all three on sixes, but then James uh, passed all his um, saves. So we're going to turn four for the Americans. Okay, motivation, so to unpin the infantry, these ones do get a reroll, so rallying on a four, they do, and then we got the platoon over here, they rally on a four, uh, on a five, and then your reserves just come in, because mm -hmm. you'll be rolling four dice. So that's it, so we will see what happens after American movement. Okay, American movement, uh, the Shermans remain stationary, uh, infantry have moved into the building, where the, the two rifle teams and the bazooka. Sherman HQ is in a road dash and a follow me and is now here and first platoon are moving up here and the glider troops are moving down the road. So we're back into shooting. Again, same point, we're going to try and range in with the mortars by there. So again, even the five, I think it was by there, so I won't put the marker down straight up because some people find it unlucky. So needing the five, get it. So, um, so what you got was one of those guys. Uh, no, both, because it was just about creeped enough. Uh, no, so we know there's two Piats, two rifle teams. Okay, so we are um, ranging first attempt, four rifle teams, you're hitting on fours. Uh, you get the reroll of two misses. Yeah, we got it right. Uh, still two hits. And then there's also two Piats that you're hitting as well. Uh, but you get the reroll, gives it one hit. So we've got one Piat. Um, pass, and was it two rifle teams? Uh, one potential, one actual, so one rifle team's gone down and they are pinned of course. Okay, so, so far the rifle teams have fired, uh, with the bazooka got three more hits, no kills. Um, the howitzers managed to kill the piat. Uh, the rifle teams here have got no hits on their shooting and all we got left now is the 76s going over here so it's six shots instead of eight now and hitting on sixes rather than sevens uh, three hits though uh, so one of them i'm guessing is going on the firefly I'm three, the cromwells. three cromwells mm -hmm. okay i'll yeah yeah I'll, I'm, I, I'm not happy with it but i'll do my saves um so one bounce one equal, one fail. So the one to which one do you want to do? The potential bail or the potential, potential bail. kill? Potential bail, go on. He's bailed and the potential kill is bailed. That is unhappy with. You can do a shoot and scoot with them if you wanted to. Yeah. Right, so 
so that is it so now we're going to British turn four okay so um, motivation so I have two bailed out Cromwells none of them get back in so luckily they're not doing a last stand the paratroopers have rallied and the motor platoon good god they've done it jeepers and then I have two dice for reserve so I might roll I might actually roll the two and the three dice good god I have a reserve in um, I'm gonna bring in the uh, the Cromwell troop the one with the firefly so where does it come from where will it go three so so we go into movement. Okay, so they have moved here. So this might be enough to get rid of uh, the Sherman. So, but it might be enough. So these guys have moved up onto the ridge just in case. And this guy has moved uh, also to deal with this infantry platoon. Uh, Crusaders have moved across into the road so they can provide defensive fire in case these guys who are not pinned anymore, or these guys are not pinned anymore, get assaulted by the American infantry. Um, they'll just have to, well, they might end up having to deal with shots from these guys. So that is it, so now we go into shooting. And we'll do this one first, because it might alter how anything else fires. So, Firefly and two Cromwells are firing up the road, short range, and he is firing, oh, I don't think I'm going to get many, but I think it might just be that one guy there who's going to get hit. Yeah, it's just out. Two guys. Two guys there. So, two Cromwell shots hitting on threes. One hit. And the Firefly, one hit. So, you can bounce the Cromwell shot. So, your front armour is six. So, a four to equal. No, and that's it. So the two fire fire powers fail both. So they both bailed, and they're not going to run either. And then I got my four shots from the MG onto the rifle teams hitting on fours uh, to it. So it's just the two guys here. So it survives, it survives, and then up here. Firefly and a Cromwell onto your Shermans. So the Firefly hits, the Cromwell hits. So you can do the Cromwell. No. So got him this time. So I don't I can ignore your Shermans over here. So we will do the other shooting and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Furthermore, with the shooting, I managed to pin this rifle platoon and kill one team. Um, I managed to get three shots on the rifle team here, and no kills. Uh, th three sixes actually rolled. Um, and I'm not firing the paratroopers, they're just going to stay gone to ground. Um, oh, do you know what? I am going to fire. Cause... So I got eight shots from the rifles, because that's all that is left. Five, six... Seven, eight. So hitting you on fives. So that is two hits. You are pinned. And then the Piat, I still have two left. No hits for the Piat. So two infantry saves. One fail. One complete opposite. But you're pinned. So you do have to rally them. And that is it. So we are going into American. Turn five. Okay, motivations, who do you want to rally first? So the guys in the building. So on a four up, nope, but they get a reroll. Nope. And then these guys, they do it. And then formation morale, the Sherman 76s turn around and go away. Oh, they were the ones you picked for most, you know, key unit. Hmm. Okay, so we will see what happens in American movement.
Okay, American movement. Um, first platoon is moving in uh, position to assault uh, the remnants of this troop of tanks. Bazooka is remained stationary and the glider troops are continuing to move down. Uh, the only thing that hasn't moved is the mortar. Uh, it won't really be able to see anything for itself unless it fires on the ridge, but the HQ hasn't moved and can spot. And these guys are obviously pinned, so can't do anything. So, going to American shooting again. So, uh, we're, we're going to just go straight into artillery until they repeat bombardment. So, oh, I have to lift these lids again. So, there's two Piats, and then. Should be three, yeah, because you killed one. So, do your two Piats. So hitting on fours, again to re-roll them all. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, hit. And then failed the, the failed one, hit. So two hits on the piats. And then the three rifle teams. All fail, but you get to re-roll them. Uh, so two hits. So I'm pinned. So the piat teams, uh, one potential, well, so one potentially you can kill. Nope. And then the two rifle teams, both okay at the moment, and one potential. Yeah, all these, they're slowly getting whittled down, uh, so we'll do that, and we'll see what else is going to shoot. Uh, so the 105s are rearranging in uh, to clip the infantry and the firefly, so needing a 4 because they're skill 3, no, and then second attempt, yes. So the two rifle teams, you're going to be hitting on 5s. Two hits, and the Firefly you're going to be hitting on a five as well. Hit. Okay, so the two infantry teams, this is where they both die. One dies. Just this guy. And the Firefly is... Okay. That was a right throw. Okay, shooting-wise. Um, the other mortar ranged in from the glider troops, got nothing. Uh, the rifle teams managed to finish off uh, the other um, Brangan team up here, so these guys will be last standing and they probably will run next turn. Uh, the infantry fired into the paratroopers, got three hits, no kills. Uh, the bazooka missed, no, the bazooka actually hit, but I bounced it. And then the three inch gun fired and missed. So we are going into an assault. Okay, so that's how it ends up. Uh, one guy gets in here, and then the other four will get onto there. So, we have defensive fire. So, three from the Sherman, and four from the Cromwell. I don't know, like, if this was me, like, with even worse odds, I wouldn't get in. So, hitting you on fours. I see. One hit. Uh, I'm going to put it on the guy who's on the Firefly. No, no, I'll put it on the one who's on the Cromwell. So, uh, one of the guys on the Cromwell. So, a three up save. Dead. Okay. So, he will fill in there. So, you've got three guys hitting my Sherman's. My, my Cromwell on fours. That uh, is two hits. And then you've got one onto the Firefly, also a four. Hit. So, the Firefly is okay, the Cromwell is okay, and okay. So now, we have the famous counter-attack on reluctant troops. No. So they will drive away along the ridge to make sure they're outside of six inches, which is enough. And then you get to consolidate your troops four inches. Okay, so they consolidated just into as much cover as possible, so going into my turn six, we have two Cromwells who are still bailed out, and they're still bailed out. Three plus, and then we have the paratroopers who do rally, and then the motor platoon that rallies, but now I'm going to change dice, because they need to last stand. No, they don't know. That's... That's expected. And then I have three dice for reserves. One. Um, no, just, just one. Because it's a five. What turn are we on? One, two, and six. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it's going to be my HQ. Uh, where do they come on from? It's going to be this. What do you mean? That's not a sigh of relief. 
yeah, not from this angle. Where the hell did they go? Like a whole back edge. Okay, right. Well, we'll come back to you after <laughs> movement. Okay, so movement wise, nothing moving over here because I want to get these back in doing something. These guys all but one have moved just to get more MG shots on the infantry, and these guys have also moved. And this is where the HQ has popped up to hopefully get rid of the um, glider troops on this side of the board. I think I want to get rid of them first. Uh, and then deal with other stuff. Um, although I will come back to you, I might have to change their movement slightly or move them, but we'll get back to you. Changed. So they're on this side now. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, James let me. I don't fire anything, I'll let you do the same potentially. Okay, so we are going into shooting. Um, there's nothing too fancy, so I'll just do a recap of how it all ends up. Okay, so other shooting, uh, this platoon is still uh, pretty much active, so three rifle teams and a bazooka, I have pinned them. Um, pinned these guys again and killed the bazooka, that's all, so there's still nine rifle teams in this building. Uh, so the paratroopers fired their full rate of fire because I'm not assaulting with my three rifle teams and PFs yet, so we are going into American turn seven. Okay, so we have motivations, who do you want to do first? These guys, so rallying on a four, no, with a reroll, yes, and then these guys, rally, okay. And that is it, so we're off into your movement. Okay, we have movement, uh, no movement here though. Uh, these guys have just moved behind bulletproof cover, and the glider, the glider troops are coming, so uh, that is it, and the bazooka is in range. Uh, to fire and they've, there's a gap opened up to fire as well. So that is it. So we're going into shooting. So I'm guessing you're going to re repeat this bombardment again? Yes. Alright, so there's two rifle teams and two piats. So the rifle teams, one uh, needs a reroll, so one hit, and then two piats, one hit, one miss, one hit, one miss. So the one rifle team, was one rifle team, one piat. So rifle team is okay. Piat is okay, but it pinned again, of course. And I suppose the only other interesting one to do straight up is the, the bazooka. Yeah. Uh, so it will be a five, four normally, five because you are um, moving. They, they, you can see clearly there's no, mm. there's no cover. Hit again. Um, can I bounce it again? Yes, <laughs> literally. <laughs> well done, boys. <laughs> uh, and then we'll get back to you uh, after everything else. Okay, other shooting. Uh, the uh, 10.5s ranged in here got a few hits, but I managed to pass my saves. The bazooka fired, uh, missed, and the 3 inch gun from all the way over here got two hits, but luckily he was just him in range. Um, so, blatted him quite well. And then over here, just the one shot from this duel across the street. And that is it. So now uh, Jimmy is having a decision where he's going to assault the Cromwell in a way that um, the Firefly can't fire, but uh, we will see what happens. Okay, so Jimmy lost one guy to defensive fire. He hit me, I passed my save, but then, of course, my counterattack is a five, uh, so I'm slowly getting pushed back. So he will do his consolidation, and I will have my turn seven. Okay, first up, I need to get my Cromwells back in, so on threes, they need the HQ after all. Okay, now to rally my paratroopers, no. Okay, and then I have my last reserve, which are the Stuarts, but way um, over there. That's not too bad, I can live with that. I can really live with that. So we'll come back to you after movement. Okay, so the Stuarts have done a terrain uh, dash and follow me, but desert rats just don't want to do that stuff. All my Cromwells are moved forward, Crusaders have stayed still. The Cromwell 75s are moved forward, but the 95s are going to remain back here. Over here, these guys have moved up to the Bacage to shoot the guys in the open, and these guys have moved here to shoot the other guys in the open, hopefully. And that's it, so we will go into shooting, and I'm going to start off with a 
bombardment. Okay, so this is where I'm ranging in. I need a four. Uh, there's no modifiers because it's all shorter in. So can I get it? So first attempt. Got it. Now, I'll roll two dice at a time because I have to re-roll my hits. So this guy here, uh, hitting them on threes because they are aggressive. Miss. Definitely missed. That guy is hit. And then this guy here is missed. Okay, so you're pinned, and then it's just a simple four-up gun save. Dead. Okay, so I managed to kill another rifle team here, and I killed two rifle teams and an LMG. Your infantry saves are just insane. Yeah, so that is it for me, so we're now into turn eight. Um, motivations, you've got your pinned um, rifle team, that'll get a reroll, don't need it. Your pinned glider troops, that do not rally, and your guns, the 105s, who rally, loving it. And that's it, so we'll go into movement and see what happens. Okay, so the glider troops tried to dig in, failed, so they'll just go to ground, and the remnants of 1st Platoon are now in the church with Seeking Sanctuary. And that's it, so we are going into American shooting. And I believe I heard the S word. Mm -hmm. Smoke is happening. So we will do smoke, and that will be it. So uh, oh, well, there will be other shooting, no doubt, but uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, so this is only the second time I've seen this happen. The mortars tried ranging in smoke, failed. Uh, so then the howitzers did it, and they used the um, observer to call it in just to, for some longevity. The only other unit then to fire was the rifle team's got one hit and one save. So that is it. So I am going on to turn eight. Only motivation I have is the paratroopers who rally and we're good to go. Okay, so uh, these guys have pulled back to cover the objective from the guys in the church. Uh, everything here is just going to remain stationary since I'm already ranged in over there. The Stuarts have moved up tactical, uh, but no more than 10 inches, so I can launch an assault into the mortars. And that is it, so we're going to shoot in. Let's uh, start with the repeat bombardment again. So the howitzer on the road, hitting on a three, or roll two dice, because obviously I need to re-roll my hits. Uh, miss, and then the guy on the other side of the road is also missed. So I don't take too much artillery. Uh, so we'll get back to you with anything else that happens. Okay, so over here, I managed to kill, was it? One, one, one more, but they're pinned. Um, that's with like, pretty much everything direct firing into them. Over here, every MG I had went in, one off pinning, no kills. So I was thinking of doing an assault of the powers. I might see how it feels, but the Stuarts are going to basically be going in onto one mortar team because that's all that's in range of four inches. So hopefully I can get him and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, so the assault didn't actually go brilliantly in the first round. I missed three times with hitting on fours. The Americans then counter-attacked, uh, missed though, because they have a five. But then these guys rolled a six to counter-attack. Killed the guy, uh, killed another guy because he couldn't run away quick enough and these guys are pushed back there. So these two had to move, not in foxholes, and pinned. And now we go into Turn nine. Mm. Mm. Okay, American motivations. A lot of motivations. Where are we going first? Oh, Gliders. Know. Yes. Okay, uh, next. Mortars. Mortars. Yes. Infantry. No. Second attempt. Yes. Everyone's rallied. Okay, so. American movement. Movement. Uh, glider troops have moved back into bulletproof cover. Uh, these guys are staying in cover and uh, the rifle platoon here has moved into the bank uh, but the mortars are not, I repeat, not digging in. So we will discuss with James where he's going to be shooting first and we may or may not record it so we'll see what happens. Okay, Howitz has a direct firing into the Stuarts who have not fired yet so they still got on the ground so first one who's closest is going to hit on a 6 and then the other one's going to be a 7. Nope. And that, I, 
what the mortars are going to fire mm -hmm. or something. They're going to range in on that building again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so five because of conceal, uh, because of terrain. Second attempt. Uh, might be cocked. Yeah, cocked. No, so final attempt. Got it. Um, so was in the so there's two rifle teams. You're hitting on sixes and two piats. Ooh, so hit a rifle team and hit a piat as well. So rifle team is okay, piat is okay, but again I have bloody pinned paratroopers. Okay, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, we go into British turn nine. British turn 8, I just have the one motivation, the paratroopers. They do not rally. So, we're into movement. Okay, uh, the guys have moved off the ridge, uh, so their asses aren't hanging out for that bazooka. Uh, the other Cromwell's uh, troopers moved over to help out. Uh, the Stuarts are moving into assault range on the mortars. Uh, one of the howitzers can uh, defensive fire, so I'm okay with that. And then I have everything else moving, but not the paratroopers, because they're stuck here for now. So, uh, the repeat bombardment is what we'll see on the rolling. So we have the guy on the road, who I hit. And then we have the guy further back, who I miss. So a double save, though, for you, though, James, on a four. Oh, he makes it, but they're pinned. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll do the other shooting and see if I can actually kill any more infantry. Okay. Over oh, here? Yeah. yeah, so um, just the one kill onto the glider troops, which is pinned. Um, these guys did not get pinned because they're gone to ground. Um, these guys, the rifle platoon were one off being pinned, and the HQ is okay. So we're going into the assault. Roll your defensive fire dice. I didn't fire the Stuarts, so they still keep going to ground because they are scouts so just roll it up no that wouldn't have been enough anyway. so hopefully the assault will be a bit better than last time okay so i only managed to kill two in the assault but they failed their counter attack and didn't have enough movement to get away very very lucky just outside of six inches so he's okay uh, but only one is actually in their front arc uh, who has a front arc who can fire next turn. So we go into American turn 10. Okay, so we have two pinned units. So we have the gliders and we have the howitzers. Mm. So which one's first? Nice. Gliders. Rally. Howitzers. Three. I don't think that's going to be enough. Mm -hmm. nope. No. So even worse hit ratings now. So we go into American movement and see what happens. Okay, the Americans have come out. So the guys from the church are here, the glider troops are here, the infantry platoon is here, and the guys have swiveled. They're pinned anyway, so they're slow firing. So they are going to be hitting me on fives, but you know, they, they, they might do enough. So that is it. So we're going into shooting. Do you want to just do this? The, the three direct shots, yep. anti-tank nine, uh, just the one hit, um, so, oh, do I, I get a save? I do. Yeah, five. No, so firepower two plus. <laughs> just did that. Okay, so just pop the one of the guys. Um, and we'll have a look at the other shooting at the end. Okay, so this bazooka managed to get a hit, but again, I bounced at every bazooka round I've bounced or equaled. Uh, this bazooka, who would have had a better chance, uh, I he missed. And uh, we got the Stuart dead up there. So we have assaults. There's a lot of them, so we will just see what happens in the end, if any of them make it in, which they could. Oh, just to mention as well, the HQ moved up with this platoon for better motivation. So, assault time. Okay, so over here, these guys got pushed back and lost five teams. Over here, the glider troops went in first onto the side of the Sherman. So only the Sherman got defensive fire shots. Um, didn't, I think I killed... Did I kill some? Killed one guy. Um, but then I failed my counter-attack and I had to get pushed back. And because I had to get pushed back across the river, 
two Cromwells of course failed their cross checks and just died or surrendered and then the other team came in uh, survived defensive fire shots and bailed the firefly and the other unit failed to counter attack so got pushed back so I need to win the game in my turn 10 is it turn 10? or turn 11? I don't know lost we've count. lost count but it doesn't matter so it's all on me again so we'll go into British turn Okay, so first up, I have a pin down paratrooper platoon. The do not rally, you the guys are meant to do it, so we are going into movement. Okay, movement. Um, two ways I can stop uh, losing is to break formation or to kill this howitzer. So one has gone around onto the side so I can assault. Um, and I'm going to start with a smoke barrage. So I'm already ranged in, so I don't have to do it. I only get 8 inches of smoke, and it's going to be the 95mm howitzers. So let's do that, and then we'll see what the shooting results in. Okay, so it didn't, we start with this. I fired directly with the two guys who didn't move uh, into the howitzer, and got two hits, one failed save, and then passed the firepower. So game started and ended, and this guy's too far away. So that's it. But very good game in the end. None of our key units that we pointed out actually did anything. Um, I say did anything. The paratroopers did stop that infantry platoon and the HQ moving through the town. Kind of let that happen by not being proactive with moving them. No. My man of the match, though, it is a minor victory for me because you've killed a lot. you killed uh, enough. Um, my man of the match, it might be the Cromwell troop that ambushed on top of the hill, because when mm -hmm. it stopped the Stuarts and it gave us, it stopped the 76ers pushing up and it stopped your infantry, well you, you forced your infantry into the building. Yours? I think it's going to be the glider troop. Questionable glider troop. Questionable glider troop. Just because they kind of came on and they were really pushed. They've, d they've moved quite far for infantry, moving all the way across to here and almost killing two troops of Cromwells, so not bad. Yeah, they put a lot of pressure on you at the end of the game. Yeah, I, I do think the Stuarts uh, are probably going, well, we've just won the game feud, but they literally won it by only firing now. Yeah. Yeah, but um yeah, but they well, I suppose they did kill mortars and two howitzers. Oh no, did they kill two? Who did the other one win? Oh no, the artillery got oh, the yeah. other one, didn't it? Um I don't know, is it close second the Stuarts? But um yeah, I I don't like the motivation on my guys. And it turned out the one who actually had the decent motivation just won rally anyway. <laughs> But yeah, no, good game. Thanks for coming over. And uh, now I need to rejig this board for Richard coming over to tomorrow, which will be mid-war Soviets and Germans, which has not happened before on the channel. So till then, uh, you know, like and, uh, like and subscribe. And, um, you know, stay safe.